All right, so we're back at Jay's shop again, and now we're actually gonna fix the red car, but first we have to replace a pulley on the black car, um, put a battery tender on it so then we could hear it start. Oh, so then we could hear it start and then we'll uh, finish up this red car right here. All right, you're on it. You doing it for me? Look at you, Mr. Muscles. So before we started, they were just checking some clutch issues. Um, the clutch pedal went to the floor and it looks like the release bearing popped out of the clutch. So we got to figure that out, um, see if we could pop it back in the clutch and then we'll be able to see if the clutch works and then we'll start it. Look, look, look in there. Oh yeah, now it's moving. All right? Yeah. I got to get it to click in. Right. Do you want me to get a pry bar or something to try to get that in there? This side. You can't do from this side. From the inside, I could get behind the clutch, uh, no, behind can't. the release bearing. No, you can't. What? Behind the release bearing, where the clutch fork connects to, I could With probably the get a. Now? Yeah. The bar now. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to try that? Yeah. All right. Maybe. They didn't come out. No. It's. Yeah. Let's see the light. Yeah. So. So it's in now. Yeah. Is the pedal then, to the ground right now? It's yeah. up? Or is it's it up. down? All right, okay, so if it's on. up, uh, here, yeah, tighten the line. Hold on, Jack. And then he should just be able to um, just press it a few times and it'll basically pump itself. All right, Jack, pump it. Pump it slowly, all right? Please be good, don't see it. You got pressure? Huh? Pump it. Couple times. Yeah, keep pumping. No, I don't see it moving either. So. Whoa. That's. Yeah, why is it leaking in the car? You're gonna have to take out the master. Oh shit. That's weird. Alright. Now we know the culprit. I know, I saw that. This is how the fucking, uh. This is how the NC Miatas are. One reservoir and that fucking clutch sleeve or whatever you want. No, that's not even the sleeve, the clutch, clutch master. master, yeah. All right, so since the clutch master's bad, Jay said he might have another one. We'll replace that and then the clutch will be able to get bled. Until then, we're just waiting for Jay to find this part. So I'll keep you updated. What the fuck? So that's probably the pop we heard right there. Alright. Let me get a little rag. Diaphragm is actually like the thing inside isn't bad. No, I know. Still, it's just that rod it's took a shit. shit. So if we could get the rod out of the other one, which might okay. be difficult, might have to it soak it. Good on that one too. Right, right. Alright, right, well, that sucks. Well, so take this one out now. Yeah. You know, we just filled this bitch with fluid. <laughs> This one? What do you mean? You oh, it's a type C on both sides? It was like... It was like all the way in. It was like an inch in. It wasn't... Mm -hmm. okay. So he was like, let's just give it a shot. And then when he looked it up, he noticed that the diaphragm or whatever was all the way pressed in. All right, well, we got to take it back out then. Stop. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
So we got the pulley on the black FD. Um, you saw it running. We still have to wait for the clutch master, but that's going to be it for tonight. And um, I'll see you guys in the morning. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yet again, we are back at Jay's shop. When we were working on the black FD, we just went to um, bleed the clutch, and the clutch master went. So Jay ordered a rebuild kit. I put that little, uh, I guess, push rod back in, which broke and we're gonna throw that back in the car so then we could actually drive it. And then other than that, it only needs a catch can which has to be mounted probably somewhere um, up by the radiator or something and then that car's gonna be finished. So, I mean, let's get to it. Let's get this car out running, driving and, and then we move on to the next one. So, let's go. So here's the Clutch Master. I didn't know this piece on the inside was actually plastic. But um, we got it in here, we got the C-clip in, and now let's just throw it in the car and leave the clutch and it should be able to drive out of here. Right here we have the Borg Warner EFR turbo, so the boost solenoid is actually a part of this. Um, we were trying to figure out how to route the wastegate lines, the dual wastegate lines, considering this is connected to the turbo, and we figured out the two top lines, the two top ports of the wastegate, which this line is connected to, it's going to T into the compressor port before going into the solenoid, and then the two bottom ports off the wastegate will go into this port after the solenoid and then there's a vent to atmosphere on the left side so um, hopefully that works but we're going to use these nice vacuum fittings that work perfectly on uh, nylon hoses and we're gonna wrap that all up It was hard to see when I filmed, but we got this T on here. Um, this is actually a nice swivel 90 degree for nylon hose, um, and it's quick release, just like this T fitting here. So we have this ran here on the firewall with a worm clamp, ran underneath, it's hard to see, but then loops under the coolant line up into the T, but like from here, if you could even see it, clean. I'm happy with that. That's 
forgot this is all right here that you can pull it for the yeah much better. dropping your camera first thing in the morning all right so it's a new day as you can tell and there's a couple more things we have to do on the black car so hopefully today we'll get the catch can mounted connect the other wastegate line and maybe connect that radiator hose so we could get the system burped and bled um, yeah I'm just waiting on Jay right now once he gets here we'll pull the car in and we'll get started <laughs> So this is where I'm thinking of running the catch can right here with a 90 degree L bracket utilizing these threads here. And then right here we got the dash 12 to dash 10 reducer and then it's going to run 90 degrees straight up to the oil neck which now has a 45 degree on it. Look at it. Oh, that's you just look at this? Motherfucker. Will somebody just look at us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, You've never been around quick, quick, uh, quick no. girls. No. Me? Yeah. What these? You geeks over Dude. there. Dude, it, it's like the I little things. Hmm? I got them on my car. Jay put them in. I literally want to like do all this shit on my car. Yeah. And There's we're not so even done. I'm not even done. I'm not even done. The way they work, you would think theoretically there'd be an, a leak. Yes. Yes. That's you would think that. That's But. I got a dude, whole thing of them. Jay gave me a whole thing of them. I fucking love that. I told him, I was like, I, every time I use it, I geek out over it because you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to like pull hoses off or use those plastic T fittings and they snap. Like I got brass T fittings, but That's it's like I still. I had a leak and I had to, to get it tuned at JB Weld. <laughs> This fucking guy. All 
All right, so that's it for today. Um, it was definitely a success. I can't speak right now. It was definitely a successful day. Um, even though there wasn't too much to do on the black car, I think the bracket came out really nice. The wastegate lines got ran. Still waiting on an adapter for the coolant hose. Um, and then that thing could get out of the shop. And then that red FB you saw did the wastegate lines, mounted the oil cooler with the AN lines. Um, I was gonna do the clutch sleeve, but the stock line was brittle as fuck, so um, he's ordering a braided one. And then did a heater hose on that, so nothing crazy, but both of those cars should be out of here by Friday, which is cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be working on something fun next time, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace.